Well, I think with Laura Ingram, the worst part about it for me is that with my personal blog, a significant majority of the readers are young women. Mm -hmm. And I can't say with the Daily Beast, I've only been writing for them for a few months, but I assume a lot of young women are reading it. And what do young women think when I speak my mind about politics and I want to have a political discussion about the ideological future of the Republican Party? And the answer is, she's fat, she shouldn't have an opinion. Right. What kind of message are we sending young women? Yeah. It's terrible. I have a little sister, and what kind of example is this setting for her? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't it agree with you more. It infuriates me. Weight is now that I'm I'm a political writer on a blog, and right. all of a sudden I'm too fat to write. Well, she <laughs> you know? I mean, we talk. I everyone from Tyre Banks to Oprah to Hillary Clinton to my mother. Why are we so obsessed with weight? Why? And I know specifically for me, this is so you know I'm a pop culture junkie. But when Tyre Banks went on her show in her bathing, bathing suit, suit and said, "Kiss my yeah. fat ass," that's what I feel like right now. I'm like, "Kiss my fat ass." Oh, like, yeah, I don't care. What is, it that, what is it exactly that ticked her off about you? I, I, don't, I, I had actually never heard of her before until this happened. Really? Yeah. So. She's the lady from the house, house on the prairie. prairie. <laughs> I had never heard of her before, and yeah. it doesn't matter. This is There's no place for weight criticism of women in 2009. There's no, no place for yeah, it. Not. And if I have to come on this show and say that, there is no place for any woman to have her weight criticized, no matter what age or, she or is. Or her looks. Or her looks. Or her looks. Or her. Um, how do you feel? Do you feel that we treated them fairly when they were on the show? Um, I, obviously, they're my parents, and I love them, and it's my mother, you know, who I'm very close with, so I didn't, father. and my father, but, you know, I just, I love my parents, and yeah. obviously, when you see the difference between my parents being on and President Obama and Michelle, it's it's obvious. Um, I like to look forward. I'd like everyone to look forward with this president, with this election. I support the president, and I just think we shouldn't look back on the past and move forward. Well, you, you, all your father on. was on at a different time, though. Just to say, the timing of Obama, we've heard this before, that we were easy easier on Obama, but Obama wasn't really in the game at that point. Your father was when he came on, and we were just... Uh, I'm going to go with you and look forward on that one. Yeah, I try, try to look, look forward. forward. The, um, I'm going to look forward. Does your, does your dad feel somewhat vindicated? We're hearing this quote now come out of the White House saying that, you know, our, the fundamentals of our economy are sounds strikingly familiar to what he said earlier in the campaign and got attacked for doing so. Does he feel vindicated? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, it's ironic that it's the exact language, I think the exact terms that he had used earlier. Um, I'm sure he does feel vindicated. I, you know, the economy is such a tricky issue, and I think if President Obama and all the amazing people that's working for him and all the incredible people in the Senate, and my father, who I think is the most incredible person in the Senate, you know, saying all these things can't figure it out, then it says a lot about that. What about, about losing the election, your mother or your father? You know, both of them, actually, we, like, had a barbecue after the election yeah. and just looked forward. And always, to me, the, the thing that brings me back home is that my brother is safe because he's, he's fighting right. overseas. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is what's the worst thing I can imagine, him being exactly. killed overseas. And, I have and that, for me, yeah. is the, and I was like, you know, I got a great life. I got a great yeah. family. I have no complaints. I get to sit on a show, talk to you and guys, you know.